A few months ago, I found myself walking around the video section at the Goodwill. While there, I stumbled across a handful of animated movies. I've seen Kiara the Brave, I've seen Mars Needs Moms, and I have seen Cargo. I'm gonna just cut to the chase. This movie sucks. Bad animation, bad story, just bad everything. And you all thought that Sheep and Wolves was a weird video. I can only imagine, because this abomination is coming out later this year. Oh, don't you worry. I got plans for you. No! No! First off, it's tone. For a kid's movie, there sure are a lot of adult references. No, no, it's fine. Actually, I was just thinking I should ask you about... No! No! I mean, this thing has a 1.9 on IMDb, but for some reason has a 48% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeah, they don't know what they're talking about. This movie is much worse than that. This film makes the Emoji Movie look like Toy Story. No! No! The other thing that makes this film stand out from the norm is a certain somebody who was part of the production, and his name... Osama Bin Laden! Drummer, this is my beat. No! No! The intolerant behavior of this movie floored me. I had to pause and rewatch the scene to make sure I wasn't being tricked. I mean, maybe it's some kind of ironic fan animation, but nope. This film is for real. But seriously, my curiosity was piqued. There were people who even said that this film was actually good. Also, I'm a big fan of Disney films. I've basically seen them all but their foreign film department is a bit of a mystery to me. Now, you guys might be wondering, what does this movie have to do with Up? Well, you gotta pay attention, folks. And how do they do this? By performing what I think is called a haka and put on their Ghostbuster outfits. It's some kind of Maori war dance that some sports teams still perform today. Oh my god. Could your flow be any worse? These designs are terrible. None of them look consistent. They look as if they belong in different properties. Also, th this one guy's wearing a Batman shirt. What? And this guy's wearing a bomber jacket and smoking a cigarette. And why is Heathcliff in this movie? I can only imagine that Disney and DreamWorks really regret passing this one up. The film itself had a long and difficult production. We then get to meet the main villain of the film. And, ooh, I thought Heathcliff is unpleasant. But he's got nothing on Osama Bin Laden. Hey, there's some Rugrats and Sonic the Hedgehog. Hold up. Never before has anything ever made me stop. Like, legitimately, I stopped. I had to do a double take. There's, there's no way he said Sonic the Hedgehog, right? This is a kid's movie, right? Why is he mentioning a terrorist, right? And Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah, there it is. Sonic the Hedgehog, just yeah, in a kid's movie, just say it. Sonic the Hedgehog. Saddam Hussein, Adolf Hitler, whatever. Just throw out some names, because that's just the movie we're in. Holy f this movie's bad. Shh, I'm trying to watch. Barney's up next. Now, I can already see that some of you might say, come on, Saber, it took this guy four years to make this all by himself. Lay off. Well, I don't feel that way. What if I took 10 years to make a sculpture and the final product looked like this? Do I get a free pass? No, you shouldn't. If it looks like garbage, guess what? It looks like garbage. All right, let's go over my five points. The story, trash. The voice acting, trash. The dialogue, trash. The editing, trash and the animation. Trash. Yep, it's all trash. I'm the trash man. There's absolutely nothing redeeming about this film. 
Not a single thing.